Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Connect Civilians. So this will be the fourth lecture of our series of G plus three story building designing. Okay, in this lecture we will see how to assign and define the load to the structure. Okay, so we will go to the load and definition, go to load cases and details, go to the add and first we will provide the dead loads. Dead load. Okay, we will give the name dead load, add and live load. Okay, live load, add, close. Now we we'll go to dead load, add. Before that, we have to find the what our load will be applied to the structure. So, our floor height and the outer side wall thickness will be nine inches. Okay, so what will be our floor height? Our floor floor height is eleven feet. Okay, so it will be converted into meter here. And uh, we have considered the depth of the beam as. For now, we have considered only twelve inches. That is 12 inches, around 300 mm. But uh, once we apply the seismic load, so beam will go into pass. Uh, sorry, fail. So we have to increase the depth of the beam. But for now, we are going with the same depth. That is nine, uh, 12 inches depth. So why we have to provide this? Because we have to detect the the height of the beam. That is the depth of the beam from the load of the structure. Okay. So you can get the accurate load. So it is 0.3. That is what given in meter. So our plaster is. We are taking the plaster as 12 mm. Only internal plaster we are going to consider here. Okay. So our total UDL is calculated as 14.6 for 9 inch wall. Okay. 225 mm. Okay. So it is 14.63. So we are going to take the load as 15 kilo newton. So first we have to add the self fit. Add glue. Now we are going for the member forces. We are going to take as 15. Okay. Go to for the unit first. Check the unit. What is the unit? Forces for forces. So linear will be kilonewton meter. Add dead load, add member load, KIP per inch. Okay, you have to change the unit first. So now it is okay. Go to dead load again. Member load, it is minus 15 for outer walls. Okay, add and again for internal wall, we are going to take the Thickness of the internal wall is 5.4 inches. Height will be same as 3.35. Depth of the beam will be taken as 0.3 right now. So our load for that uh, for 4.5 inch wall for 27 mm plaster for both sides plaster is 8.86 kN per meter. So I am going to take the load as 9 kN. Okay. 9 kN per meter. Add close. So you will assign the self weight up to the structure. Assign to view. Assign. Now we are going to assign the load.
view selector object we haven't selected for terrace because the load was different at only parapet wall is provided for the terrace okay this will so we are going to select the outer beam first this will be okay and assign to selected beams asset okay and for internal beams select all the beams so there only the parapet wall of 4.5 or 3 feet height will be provided so load will be around 9 km for that okay so i'm going to provide the same load over here send to selected beam and assigned okay so load will be assigned now we will go for the terrace view selected object and we can remove these beams because no bathroom will be provided at terrace okay so no secondary beam is required here now this will be okay and every beam is right okay right now and only the corner loads will be provided and this will be moist geometry merge selected numbers merge similarly here it is must geometry must again select now assign to selected beam assign and here what you have to do you have to provide the stair mount loads okay so i am going with 15 kilo meter full load now this will be okay select check the loads check all the loads will be applied to the structure or not so your outer load will be applied your inner load will also be applied to the structure okay and parapet wall load will be applied so this will be okay so you can provide or find the parapet wall according to the height of the wall so here we are going with the 6 feet height so if you going with the 6 feet height so our UDL will be coming at 6.23 so that will be okay so it will come in 9.32 including the plaster so this will be okay here so i am going to take at 9 only okay because we have considered the thickness of the wall is 225 so you can decrease the thickness up to 200 so now this will be okay all load will be applied and this will be your stair mom t load okay so this will be okay right now and one more thing you have to add the plate load in dead also because inside load only the concrete uh, slab load will be there no 
tiles load will be applied so for tiles load we are going to add the plate load as 1 kN we are going to take the plate load as 1 kN here if you will see terrace uh, sorry floor slab so if we are providing the floor thickness for the flooring or tiling or 50 mm so we going with the maximum and density will consider at 20 kN per meter cube so it will come as 1 kN per meter cube so I am going to take the pressure of the tile as 1 kN in GY direction add and close again select the tile so it will not be applied on the roof as we are not going to provide the tile at the roof or terrace so here we are going with this and assign to selected plate assigned ok so this load will be assigned to the plates and for live load again go to plate load so here you have to provide the live load as per IS code 456 uh, sorry IS code 875 part second so I am going with 3 kN for all the floor but uh, for residential building in rooms it is 2 kN for lobby it is 3 and for stay it is 3 ok and, and for balcony it is 3 so I am going with the 3 for all the area ok and for terrace also I am going to take the same load but uh, if you are going with the with the waterproofing also so load will be increased at terrace they always remember that so if you are going with the terrace load so if you are providing the waterproofing so load will be included uh, will be added at as 4 point uh, sorry 3.3 kN ok in dead load so live load will be added here and for washroom the load will be different because it was sunken so so your uh, sunken load will be different for soil so sand filling will be there so density of sand we are going to consider 18 kN so it will come as 6.3 so total will become around 7 kN if you are going with sunk sunk of around 350 mm ok so we are going with the maximum so sunk will be around 350 mm so load will be provided as 7 kN ok Okay, this will be another file. So this load will be provided as in dead load only. Uh, for plate loads, and it is I'm going with the seven kN GY add close. Okay. So one kN is already provided. So you can. Uh, 125 mm will be the so 6.3 is your sunken load so you can minus 1 kN as our we have already provided the tiling loads of 1 kN in all the uh, plate element on the plate element so we are going with 6 kN here select the bathroom portion only here and here go to the select all the levels like this and like this ok go in 3D and check if everything is selected now assign to selected plate assigned assigned ok now load is assigned and we can go with the labels scales 
point force one kilonewton apply. Okay, so you can decrease apply. Okay, close. So load will be applied here for slab. Select it. Okay, and your slab load will be applied here. So all the load will be okay right now. Again, we can check your dead load will be self load is applied to the all the structure. Live load will be for outer uh, wall. Dead load will be applied as 15 kilonewton for internal wall. It is 9 kilonewton. And for terrace, it was also we have considered 9 kilonewton. Self weight is this two self weight is okay. Just delete it and assign to you the self weight and assign. In this will be your. Tiling load and this will be your sand load for sunken bathroom. Live load will be taken for all the plate elements that is floor load. Okay, so we have done the uh, assigning and defining the load to the structure. So, in next lecture, we will see how to apply the seismic load by the joint weight method. Okay, thank you.